Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome back to another battle vid. Now this time we're taking a look at the Asus Zenfone 11 Ultra. Now we had rumors last year that said the Zenfone was ending, but that is not the case. So fear not, your favorite smartphone from Asus is back in here. But there are some changes to this device, especially its size. And we'll see how it compares against the Galaxy S24 Ultra, especially when it comes around to gaming. Now, the first thing you notice with the Zenfone 11 Ultra, it's, it's just much larger. It's no longer a compact device. At least there is no compact variant currently. And this phone goes to 6.78 inches. So it's a much larger display. OLED display, pretty vibrant, and it goes up to 144 hertz. So as gamers, we love that there. The other thing you notice is the camera hump, very similar to the camera housing on the Asus ROG Phone 8 Pro. Uh, so again, similarities there. Even the design language as well. I've got the gray one, we've got the kind of stripes across. Uh, very nice uh, in terms of its feel and hold, feels really comfortable. But a couple of things that are unique to the device that a lot of phones in this category do not have. At the very bottom, we have the, of course, uh, USB Type-C port, as well as also a headphone jack, which is great to see. Very few companies support that now, so I'm glad that it's just packed into this package, especially when you look at what it's priced to at the end. Now, the S24 Ultra does not have that, but it does have an S Pen, so that is something, again, that is different that Samsung also brings to the table. Now, when we look at both devices side by side, they're almost similar in height and thickness as well, uh, and they feel about the same in terms of weight. But internally, we have some major differences that we want to stack up. So sticking with the similarities, we, they both have the Snapdragon 8 uh, Gen 3 processor, solid processor, and we will, of course, check out the performance there. But in terms of battery, the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a 5,000 milliamp battery, while the Zenfone 11 Ultra has a 5,500 milliamp battery, so much bigger battery, which should mean much longer battery life. I didn't have this device for a long time to test that out, but I can say the battery life has been really good, especially while gaming, uh, where I used it from about 90% and I went down to 76 for all the gaming I did in this video. So that is actually pretty cool to see, but let us go ahead and check out some of this performance here in on this device for what we have. So let's start off with our GPU scores, starting off in the reverse. And here we have some interesting numbers uh, where the Asus wins with 14,754 over the Galaxy at 14,429. So, uh, slightly higher but again within the realm of possibilities for both and then when we go to our uh, scores for our cpu asus also wins here again with both higher scores on single core at 2229 compared to 2177 against of course the multi-core with asus winning at 6980 against 6787 again close not too much but still much a little bit higher scores there for asus now moving over to 3D Mark, uh, looking at the Wildlife Extreme scores here, such it's a much more significant improvement uh, in terms of numbers for ASUS, with 5,159 for the uh, Wildlife Extreme scores compared to 4,906 on the Galaxy. So ASUS takes the lead there, and it looks like Samsung's losing everything here, except when it comes to Solar Bay, where Samsung edges out at 8,818 versus 8,667. But these are synthetic benchmark scores. So what does that mean for us while we game? And this is where we see, again, because it's a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, similarities are really solid with all of them in terms of performance. Uh, so playing uh, Call of Duty Mobile, and this was interesting. We had both the same settings there at the highest ultra. Uh, and uh, to give us, of course, highest frame rates, we got 60 frames per second. There is a new frame rate setting on Call of Duty uh, Mobile that is quite different from everything else. So both devices got 60 frames per second, which was kind of weird to see, but uh, you know, also interesting, also then ran a little bit warm. Now, another thing to note is that Asus just have the built-in Game Genie, which is the same game monitoring tool that you have on the ROG Phone 8 Pro, which is so much more robust and very in-depth, much better than what you find on the Galaxy. So this is still kind of geared towards gamers and has a lot of that DNA from the ROG Phone 8 Pro. 
Now we're moving over to PUBG Mobile and PUBG Mobile here we see similar uh, results as well. Uh, playing of course a multiplayer map and of course the highest setting at Extreme Plus. We're getting about 90 frames per second. It does dip down a little bit for both of these devices, but again, it is quite similar. And finally, to quickly round it up here on the gaming segment, we go over to Genshin Impact. And with Genshin Impact playing for around 10 minutes of gameplay, we're all both at 60 frames per second, both Asus Zenfone 11 uh, Ultra and the Galaxy S24 Ultra. So some really nice, robust performance there. So we see that gaming is pretty solid across the board, though I will say I give the edge to the ASUS Zenfone 11 Ultra. It feels like it's got a lot of that DNA gaming wise from the RG Phone 8 Pro without, of course, the gaming heaviness with the, uh, of course, the triggers on the top or even some of the cooling features, but it still runs pretty cool overall. I think this is probably geared to that. but how does the camera stack up? We've got a 50 megapixel or 13 um, megapixel ultra wide, and then we've got a 32 telephoto. How does that compare to Samsung's you know, quad camera system? So let's take a look at some of the images that we took and let me know what you think. Interesting there. I think uh, Asus has done a good job improving that, but I do feel Samsung takes the edge here in terms of just image quality overall. Now, when you look at both devices, you're thinking about what are the extras available here? What makes it unique and what makes it different? Uh, Asus has a couple of AI features here with AI noise cancellation and also uh, AI call translate, sim something similar you find on the Galaxy devices as well. Uh, but Samsung also has more AI features within the uh, images where you can go in and remember master images. You also do have the um, generative AI features built into as well. Uh, Asus has that headphone jack. This is something that now is, is a unique feature on smartphones because it's no longer there on most. While Samsung does have the S Pen, which is something that you will not find on any other device currently, except the Galaxy S uh, Ultra series. So I think when you look at both devices, they are really solid with Samsung taking the clear win on the camera side over Asus and Asus taking the edge as, as a gamer. But when you look at the price point at $899 for the Asus Zenfone 11 Ultra, that is a really solid price point and a really solid device, especially when you look at the camera being solid uh, and giving you some really at least decent photos overall. So let me know which would you pick? Would you stick with the Galaxy S24 Ultra as your device or would you look at the Zenfone uh, 11 Ultra and say, yes, I'm going to pick that up, a specialized price point. Another thing to know is the Zenfone comes with a fully um, recycled packaging all the way through. There are no plastics in there. Um, and it also comes with a case in the box as well as there is no charger itself with this USB charging cable. So guys, leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.